Hey everyone, welcome to Port Neches in Texas for round one of the 2019 NGK F1 Powerboat Series. Now, once again, we're going to bring you all the action from the season ahead, starting here at Texas. But before we do, let's look back and whet your appetite for some brilliant action from last season as Tim Seabold and Raul Shaheen look back at 218. And off we go again. Wesley gets a great jump on Spencer Love off the dock. Tracy Hawkins will win round number one. Time to show you how the other classes put on their shows. Man, the wind's really picking up. Round number two goes to the Clover team. Formula Lights really took a pounding. And we're off and racing here in Nashville. Second best. It looks like the 27 of Mark Profit. We're underway racing on the Allegheny River. One of the most confident racers in the field taking the checkered flag. Terry trying to get to the checkers first. Here comes Rinker back inside. Don't do the inside. Rinker puts in the final lap and he has won here in Orange, Texas. Let's turn our attention now to the new season ahead, which will once again be a combination of youth and experience. Some new rookies and some old hands back to teach some new tricks. Either way, there's a buzz in the air for the 18th running of this classic event. One man chomping at the bit to get on the water is last year's winner here from the Riverfest, Tracy Hawkins. He wasn't able to keep that run going, but he's back for another try. Racing the number 93 boat is RJ West. He's a rookie in F1, but don't be fooled by the R next to his name. So a combination of trusting one's own experience while getting the trust from the rest of the competition. That's F1 Powerboats in a nutshell. And after the break, we'll put it to the test with the heat races after this. NGKF1 Powerboat Championship on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by TireRack.com. Revolutionizing tire buying since 1979. By Motor Trend On Demand. Visit MotorTrendOnDemand.com. Start your free trial today. And by NGK Spark Plugs, the ignition specialists. Welcome back to the start of the 2019 NGK F1 Powerboat Series from Port Neches, Texas. And as always, a great crowd on the banks to enjoy the action. Let's get down to it with Tim Seabold and Ralph Shaheen. Getting the racing action underway in the first event, P3 Group A, Mike Makis and Jeremiah Mayo in the eight, and already problems. Travis Yates, Tracy Hawkins, and Mark Prophet all get together. Travis Yates comes out of it just fine. Restart, complete restart as we get this one back underway. And there's Mayo again with another good start in the A to make us right alongside him again. We see two of our rookies jumping out front early. Let's see if they can hold it through the first turn. Jeremiah Mayo on the outside, Mike Makis hugging the buoys, and they're coming out first and second for Group A. Johnny Fleming trying to hang with him at the front end of the field. As you get a good look from above at the race course here at Port Natchez. Fleming going by Jeremiah Mayo up the back straightaway, putting himself in a second position, but a rookie Mike Makis still out front. Makis has that black 85 up front and pulling away now by a handful of boat lengths. 
Here comes Foster in the yellow CB Technologies boat working his way through the field all the way up into second place with a sight set on Mike Makus. Foster's in that yellow 53. He's now moved up into second. See if he can reel in Makus. He's starting to close some gap and he's hugging more to the inside. Here's Makus. He sure is. Greg is very aggressive and this is an exact scenario we had last year at Pittsburgh. Mike Makus wins it though. Taking the checkered flag here in heat three for group A. Makus over Foster Fleming, Fairchild and Mayo with a great start. Holds on to finish at the back end of the top five. Getting ready to get this one underway. This is Heat 3, Group B. 13 rookies competing here this weekend. And in this one, Jamie Duran in the 90. She gets a great start. She does. And Team Canada coming up on the outside with Rusty Wyatt. And there is Dustin on his outside. So these veterans get the jump on the rookies. That's Dustin Terry in the 0-3. Keep an eye on him, one of the top veterans in the category. Wyatt's got that new Moore boat built in France, and it's looking good in the first heat race. Terry finished in the top five here the last year at Port Natchez. You can really see the Moore boat accelerate off the pin. It's an all composite boat, looking good. Wyatt out in front of Terry, and Austin Cheatham back behind him. Good look at the course here. Talk a little bit about the race circuit here, Tim. You know, today's weather is absolutely perfect. The wind is just barely blowing, so it makes for perfect conditions for tunnel boat racing. Here's a look at the number 20 boat. That's Ashton Rinker. Ashton's working his way up from the back because he won one of the heat races earlier on. That's Rusty Wyatt and the checkered flag falls. And this heat race is in the books as well. RJ West sneaks up into second place. Jimmy Merlot will finish in fourth and Spencer Love We'll round out the top five and Jamie Duran, the rookie, she's in seventh. Now, as always, the F1 boats were the only boats on the water in Port Natchez. Let's take a look now at some of the action, starting with the F1 lights with Tim and Ralph. Plenty of great racing action. Here's the Formula Lights. Formula Lights saw Chris Hughes get out to a good start and Mark Schmierbach, number 35, passing him on the outside in that brand new pew. New team for him this year and they had a heck of a race problem there spin it around and the checker flag waves and here's the j hydros up on your knees oh man look at shane butler getting it sideways going through the corners and these kids want to win this is where your career in powerboat racing begins and you can see the action here even though boats are smaller every bit is exciting and my favorites i love these tri hauls and that is why some of the most exciting action you'll see all weekend these guys are crazy. One pin turns, so you've got the veteran Jerry Rinker in the number 52 boat, and you've got the youth and Corey Walker in the number one boat battling it out all weekend. The old man comes out on top. And believe it or not, you can pull a slide job on the water, as you saw right there. If you're looking for a smooth ride, this isn't for you, but the celebration off the water is every bit as good. Well, I hope those starters slid down nicely as coming up next, it's time for the main event. Join us after this short break. Welcome back to the 2019 NGK F1 Powerboat Series. It's round one from Texas. Let's take a look at the course ahead now with Ralph Shaheen. Well, let's take a look at our race circuit here in Port Natchez, Texas. It's four sharp corners, Tim, and a kink on the front straightaway. Straight up the back straightaway, like you got the kink on the front straightaway, which gives it a little bit different flair because drivers can slide around it or actually set the boat at that kink buoy. Makes turns three and four really important so that you get good runs down those long straightaways here in Port Natchez, Texas. And we're racing on a river as we take a look at our starting grid for today's NGK Formula One Powerboat Championship. This is round one of 2019. Ashton Rinker, Greg Foster right at the front. We got rookie uh, in fourth place of uh, RJ West. And as we said, 13 rookies in the event, including Jamie Duran. We saw her have a great run, a top 10 in her heat race earlier. Starting 12th. Got a great starting position for Jamie. 
some of the bigger names in this sport, including Chris Rinker and Austin Cheatham, deeper uh, on the grid here. Couple new rookies though, and it's gonna be interesting. Here's the start in this race will be 17 minutes plus one lap, a two wave start. Rinker gets a good start, but a better start by Fairchild in the number 62 lottery.com boat. On board Ashton Rinker, trying to cut really tight on that buoy right by it. Man, what a veteran move by Fairchild. He leaves him just enough room to squeeze in there, but not enough to accelerate with him. Force him out of the throttle a little bit. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Get him to set the boat, lose all his corner speed. That'll kill you down these long straightaways here in Port Natchez. Here's a view from Dustin Terry, hanging on just inside of the top 10 right now in boat number 62, Chris Fairchild. Here's Rinker in second, followed by the 94. That's Rusty Wyatt. Rusty's running good in that new boat for this weekend, and uh, it's really showing with a couple heat race wins. Early on in this race, remember, we're going for 17 minutes at a lap. Water looks pretty calm right now. Not gonna get any better than this. The absolute perfect conditions for tunnel boat racing. The one wild card in this whole event is gonna be the traffic. And we've got a lot of it. A lot of boats entered here this afternoon. A full field here on the river. You're coming up on three, four wide when you're coming up on traffic. Give them a couple more laps. They're going to work their way right up to the back markers. Well, you can see how nice those boats are cornering right now. Not moving around a lot. A little bit of chop as they come back onto the straightaway. RJ West in fourth place, one of our rookies, looking good, builds his own boat. So that's actually the plug for the molds that he's making. You saw the view, Spencer Love, and one boat slow to the inside here, cutting into the infield, if you will, of the race circuit. It is, and you got Jamie Duran, who looks like they came together with Austin Cheatham and uh, put a hole in her boat. Dustin Terry, Mike Makis battling over a spot in the top 10. Uh-oh, looks like Dustin's got some motor problems, and he's pulling to the outside. Hate to see that. Meanwhile, here's Makis in that black boat. He ran so good in his heat, having a good main event as well. He really is. Mike's coming into his own. But Chris Fairchild out front leading. He's being pushed by Ashton Rinker and Rusty Wyatt right behind him. And you can see the majority of the boats hugging tight to those buoys. Not anybody really going too far outside today unless they're side by side, almost here. Here you go. Here's Rinker right up on Fairchild for the lead. Side by side, let's see what's gonna happen once they get into this lap traffic coming into turns one and two. Fairchild in the gray boat, Rinker in the bright yellow machine. Fairchild's new to the McCullough race team this year, so he's been doing a lot of tweaks to this boat over the weekend to make it fit himself. And Rinker was second in this event just a year ago, and he's going for the win here in 2019. Fairchild squeezes it down again, so he's got to lose all his corner speed for Ashton Rinker, and it allows Fairchild a little breathing room. Well, you can see how many boat lengths he pulled away just by doing that. A uh, huge advantage if you can keep that up. It sure is, and all this traffic is just making it melee out there. And look at R.J. Wiss. They didn't even think about him. He just came up and snagged second place away from Rinker. RJ, a rookie, and that blue and red 93. They were so busy racing forward, weren't worrying about what was behind them, and he took advantage of it. Man, what a great move by RJ. RJ's running the Optimax, so it's the direct injected motor versus the carbureted motor of Fairchild and Rinker. Where does that give you an advantage? It gives you a little bit of advantage on the top end speed, as you can see right there. And with the long straightaways that we have here in Port Natchez, perfect combination for racing here in Texas. And he's taking full advantage of it. Look at that thing get up and get going. It sure does. He's got that skeleton racing uh, composite craft just sitting on its tail. Stay with us. We'll be right back for more of the NGK F1 Powerboat Championship. NGKF1 Powerboat Championship on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by TireRack.com, revolutionizing tire buying since 1979. By Motor Trend On Demand. Visit MotorTrendOnDemand.com. Start your free trial today. And by NGK Spark Plugs, the ignition specialists.
Welcome back to Port Natchez, Texas. NGK F1 Powerboat Championship, round one of the 2019 season. And Tim Siebold so far, it's been all about this boat right here today. The 62, Chris Fairchild, he's led every lap so far. New team, new boat, veteran driver, showing everybody else how to get it done. So far, looking like a great combination and one the rest of the teams are gonna have to deal with throughout the course of the year. Now we talked about how this track, oh, problems for Dustin Terry, he's out of the race. Dustin's had some engine woes this weekend, pulled into the center, not able to continue, just had a bad weekend, but his teammate, Chris Fairchild, out front. David McMurray pulling off the course. As the race goes on, you're starting to see some uh, attrition out there. Some of the bigger names in the field, too. Here's a 24 machine, Spencer Love. Spencer Love and that brand new composite Hoffman. First race for that boat. Going up the inside of Jeff Reno, taking it tight on turn three and turn four. As we've seen, if you can hug the inside, that is the way to be here today. Here's your race leader working through traffic. Does this boat, this setup, seem like one that'll work at the rest of the venues we'll be going to this year? With that driver, that boat's gonna be able to work because he can drive it. Now, some of the courses like Bay City, Michigan, where it's gonna get extremely rough, that boat's gonna be a handful. That's where that veteran skill is gonna come in. It sure is. So you got Chris out front, RJ West behind him, Ashton Rinker battling through. You know, Ashton was up in the second, got pushed back to third. Let's see what he can do. And West, the surprise of the day in the 93, one of those 13 rookies who's running so strong here this afternoon. Oh. And now Rinker getting inside. I don't know what happened. He got caught on the outside and Rinker went right up the inside and he is gone. Well, that's where the rookie has still a lot to learn. He does, you know, this is a large field that he's not used to racing with and the extended time that he's not used to racing with. So you've got to have your concentration level for a longer period of time. And Look, now he's going for the lead. Rinker is not messing around. He has got Fairchild in traffic. Oh, oh boy, that's going to get tight. Wow, that was tight. Ashton Rinker threads the needle. Boy, Rinker pulling off a real veteran move there as he sneaks up the inside. Rinker, remember, was second in this event just a year ago. Man, James Chambers, the crew chief for Ashton Rinker, has got that thing dialed in perfectly. Rinker apparently feeling like he left a little something on the table last year trying to make up for it. He's going to try to get around Austin Cheatham in the 40, another rookie in the field, and he'll do so. Man, you got Ashton Rinker leading it, Chris Fairchild, and then RJ West. So it's, a, it's been a fantastic race. Let's see how we can finish it off. Rinker from third to first in the late stages of this 17 minutes and one lap main event. Man, I'm surprised he caught Chris like that, but you know, he threaded the needle. I didn't think he'd make it through there. I didn't think so either. And Wes really looks like he's struggling now, hanging on to third, but not nearly as quick as he was. Oh no, problems for Jeremiah Mayo. The number eight of Jeremiah Mayo rolls over and turn one as it comes in. That's it. That's down the fastest part of the course. And he just flopped it over in a barrel roll. And right at the end of the scheduled time, the clocks were just about to zero. It was one lap left. And uh, so the officials are gonna look at that, see what they can do. Because you know, with the Ghost Guard permits and everything, you just only have so much time. Yeah, it's not like your normal racetrack, right? Where you can just turn the lights on and stay out all day. Now here you gotta deal with uh, other situations like the Coast Guard and keeping the waterways open for the rest of the community and so that might impact the finish of our race here today good to see our drivers okay though it is in the end the rescue team did a fantastic job all weekend you can see he's out they got the boat upright they're taking it into the dock already so uh, they're doing just a fantastic job so they are going to make this an official race that will mean that the 20 who finished second here a year ago will take the win a great day for Ashton Rinker and Fairchild in the 62 has to be wondering what went wrong in the late stages here. He had dominated everything and ends up finishing second. I don't think it's a matter of anything going wrong. I just think that that Rinker's boat world 
Number 20 of Ashton Rinkers, he wanted it more than anybody else, and he made it happen. He sure did. Boy, he stuffed it down in there, and the celebration begins for Ashton Rinker. And there's confirmation of the result. Ashton Rinker with the full 150 points. Chris Fairchild second. RJ West, the rookie, in third. Then Rusty Wyatt and Greg Foster fifth. So after the first round, it's Ashton Rinker with 289 ahead of Chris Fairchild and RJ West. Then it's Rusty White, Greg Foster, and Spencer Love rounding out the top six. Thanks again to all the competitors and organizers for a great weekend's racing. We'll be back to do it all again from Toledo in Ohio. Until then, from Ralph Shaheen, Tim Seabold, and myself, Jonathan Green, we'll see you next time round.